Hello and welcome to this presentation about choosing the correct financial spread betting accounts. Today we'll be looking at not being overwhelmed by the, the vast choice available to you, different practice accounts, um, customer service, good value, style of bets, the range of bets, minimum capital requirements, minimum bet size, extra functions, margin requirements, telephone trading, software, any additional support, free incentives and the advantage of having more than one account. Okay, when you're first looking for a financial spread betting account it is easy to become overwhelmed by the vast choice available to you. Um, this choice has given us a great advantage and it's helped us in lots of ways. Customer service has improved, it's cheaper for us to now trade so it is a good thing that there is that choice and it's important to remember that you don't actually have to live with that choice forever so make your checklist with what we're going to go through today choose an account give it a try and if it doesn't work out for you then you can always change to a different account if you are new to financial spread betting it might be an idea to have a practice account first of all this way you can learn the mechanics of financial spread betting um, set up a trade, see what happens, keep all your correct records. I know it can't mimic the, the emotions involved exactly, um, it's, it's a lot different losing real money to, to pretend money, but try and be as realistic as possible, keep a record of your trades, a profit and loss, um, try and set your starting balance at what you will in real life so it's as realistic as it can be. Um, a big one for me is customer service. If I have a problem, then I want it dealt with quickly and efficiently, whether I call them on the telephone or email them. The problem is, is how do you know what the customer service will be like before you open an account? Well, I know that all the literature is available these days on the internet, but you may want to give them a call, talk to them, ask them for the literature, see how they treat you as a potential new customer. I mean, you should be getting the, the best service they offer as a potential new customer so if that's not great then you'll be um, unlikely to get great service further down the line. Another option is to check out um, trading forums on the internet. Um, word of warning with this is um, a lot of people tend to report bad news more than good news. Ignore the older posts, start a post for yourself, ask people for their views, you'll be surprised with how many people just share that information for you. Review sites, again be careful with these, it's always good to get an extra um, view on um, a particular account but a lot of these review sites receive a referral fee for, for signing up for, if you sign up through their link so um, make sure that they've actually used the account and they're not given a biased view. With financial spread betting we want to make money so we want um, the trade to be as cheap as we can make it and that happens through tight spreads. This may be a, a, one of the reasons why you want to open a second account so you can measure the two against each other but we'll talk more about that later. Style of bets. If you've got a particular style of bet in mind, whether that's a rolling daily bet or a binary bet, then obviously the account that you choose must be able to, to d deal with that kind of bet. Um, there are more products on offer now because of the increased competition, so you're likely to find a vast range of different um, style of bets on most accounts. And with one within one financial spread betting company, they might offer a, a number of different accounts. Um, it can be a bit confusing at first to know which account is suitable for you. One way of determining that is um, whether there's credit available. If there is credit available on a particular account, then if you're starting, that's probably not the account for you and more for an experienced trader. Minimal capital requirements. Um, Minimum capital requirements are generally low these days. When I started, I had a practice account with a particular spread betting firm. Um, I decided I wanted to go with them, but I didn't actually meet their minimum capital requirements at the time. I didn't want to risk as much as they wanted me to, so I went elsewhere. I could have got around it by putting some money in to that account and not touching it, but obviously there's an opportunity cost in doing that. 
minimum bet size will be critical to you as you're first starting out. Um, it is critical because the, the bet size actually determines the risk on a particular trade. You want to start off as small as you can, so look out for small uh, minimum bet sizes. Um, the increased competition has given us that. A lot of people have been seeing that as a way of getting new customers in, particularly beginners. So um, bet sizes are now quite small. Extra functionality. Think about all those additional functions that you want your account to perform. Stop losses are a must in my opinion, but you have the choice whether to go with automatic or to go with guaranteed stops. Does the account offer guaranteed stops? If yes, how much are they? Um, write down everything that you want your account to perform, like contingent orders, and then tick them off as you review each account. Now, you will all probably be trading online, but you need to think about contingency. What if you can't get access to the internet and you need to make a trade? Can you phone your trade through? If you can, how much does it cost? An additional tip is as soon as you open your account, put their um, telephone number into your mobile because you might need it at some point and the chances are you won't be able to get access to it. Increased competition has brought a lot of incentives for you to open accounts. Um, cashbacks on offer, tight spreads for limited time periods, even wine and champagne. This shouldn't be your criterion for a long-term account, but if you already have an account, why not open a second and take advantage of these offers? Another reason to open a second account, um, contingency. What if you wanted to, to make a trade and your primary account is down? You could do that in a, in a secondary account. You can also um, compare quotes from the two different accounts and go with the best one. Also, as well, the government protects the first £50,000 um, of your account, so if you've got more than that in a particular account, you want to think about spreading that across multiple accounts. And that's it, so good luck in finding your financial spread betting account.